I've got a measurement session tomorrow with a uh, with a client of ours that molds these pieces of plywood. Actually, it's going to be a piece of cladding that's going to go onto a desk, and it takes this uh, this shape here. And what we're going to do is we're actually going to measure these panels up before they get put into a environmental chamber that's going to add some humidity over time, just to see how these panels will deform based on that humidity. So we're just going to scan these up. We'll uh, we'll get into an alignment, and then we're going to scan in these cross-sectional areas on the top and on the bottom, and um, just see what kind of of deviation there is to the nominal CAD model before this testing takes place um, in this chamber. So we'll laser scan the stripe top and bottom, but what I want to do is I want to add some points some comparison points in these areas here that will automatically extract after I've captured the point cloud. So that's what I want to show you guys in this video is how we can put um, comparison points using a sample grid onto this piece here. And the way we're going to do that is we're going to come under this measure pull down menu and then the comparison points is where we want to go and then I want to create surface points. And then this dialog box will come up here. I've got creation of surface points. And then my method of creation, I've already got it clicked on here, but the sample using grid. There's a lot of other options underneath here, but I'm going to use this sample using grid. And then all of these parameters you can adjust to make that, um, to make the sampling step or to make the amount of points look appropriate for your measurement session. So let's take a look here, if I say maybe four inches, and then this projection axis, what it's doing is it says, okay, which way do you want me to look in the direction of the X, the Y, or the Z, or the plus or minus X, Y, and Z, to see what that looks like. So I'm gonna say the minus Z, let's try that. And let's do a preview a second. I've got a radius of the extraction of the points to be at 0.25 of an inch, so a quarter inch. Let's preview that a second. Okay, so notice what you see now is points will start showing up on my CAD model that are a four inch spread from each other. And if I look, I can kind of move this around a little bit. I've actually looked down the axes of the minus Z which is this direction here. And I know this panel kind of takes a, a little bit of a couple, um, a couple of those different axes, but that might be a good enough spread in that direction that my client says, okay, I can tell what the shape of that is doing in that handful of points. If I wanted to tighten that up a little bit, let's go to two once and let's preview that. Okay, that's a little bit more of a dense point cloud. I do kind of like the fact that I've got points on the cross sections here and here. So that might be a pretty good spread. But again, I'm only going to scan along this area and this area. So all these points in the middle are probably not going to be useful for me. But I do like that spread. So I'm going to say let's confirm that by clicking here with the left mouse key. And there, it takes a little time, and then it confirms all of those points. And then I'll close this a second. I'll zoom in just a little bit. So each of those points will take on a name. And you'll see that here in my model tree under comparison points. It put, up, uh, put an object group together named one, and I can probably call that a name. So if I right click on there, and I look at object group, I can rename that to say that these might be my surface profile points and then hit the enter to say okay there so all those have have got a name here now or all those names underneath here are just the default that polyworks set up but at least that group heading is going to be surface profile points now what i could do is i can go through and get rid of some of these points that i won't be needing in the midsection of this panel just to clean that model up a little bit and then i'll be able to scan this tomorrow once i get on campus there and uh, have all of these points automatically extract from my laser scan mm -hmm.